So we're not really doing a great deal in Goulburn, but we have taken advantage of the Bunnings here. And as I was looking for Bunnings, I realized there's something amazing behind me. Check it out. This is the Big Merino. I've heard about it. I never, never saw it before. But that is the Big Merino, currently famous. Australia is famous for the Merino sheep, and I suppose that's a dedicated representation of one of our famous icons. And that is a huge sheep. <laughs> so today's our last day in Goulburn. Yesterday I crawled under the bus and tidied up a lot of... Um, I was having a squealing noise when I was using the engine brake, so I thought I'd better check the manifold. Um, fixing points just to see if they were loose or if I'd blown the gasket of the manifold because I was told that it may happen once I had the engine brake enabled but once I was under there I realized that bolts were loose so I tightened bolts and then I found one bolt on the manifold which was at least probably 20 turns so it had been vibrating itself totally off so I had a little meltdown yesterday. I also discovered that the handbrake cable is starting to fray. So I'm going to have to stop using the handbrake, just leave it in gear to keep the bus still stopped. Um, this is the, the joys you get when you're pushing an old bus around the mountains. And I've been checking out the elevation map, so we're now down there heading up towards Sydney. And I'm seeing mountains again, which is scary. So I've got this elevation map and it shows me that we are pretty much at the top of the the hill now. I think I've done as much climbing as I really need to do and we're kind of heading down. There'll be some ups and downs again but it won't be as hardcore climbing because it shows that we are 657 meters which is pretty high and then if I zoom out I can see what's going on around us is that we've got mountains everywhere. I've got no escape. We're in the mountains and we're still in the mountains and so we'll do some little tour around today. I'm just going to try to ignore my, my anxieties and just push on through them and we'll go up to see some sites of um, Goulburn because it's actually quite a beautiful little town. They've got rolling hills and very scenic kind of um, residential zones and a uh, very historic town, very old churches around, so I'll do some shots of that and then we'll probably get out of here later today, head somewhat north, maybe not far, definitely not towing the car, and we'll be going slow. The boys are having fun, but they're a little bit arguing over things, aren't you guys? Valentina steals things, don't you? They like to put socks on everything and then change it from a microphone to, what is it now with a sock on it, Taiki? That one. What, what does it become with a sock? Carrot? Yes. A carrot, yep. And Valentino, what's what's the reindeer gonna become with two socks like that? Is he still a reindeer? Superman. Oh he becomes Superman when he's got the reindeer socks on, has he? Good. So these boys are able to ride very well now. Now we're gonna do a, a race around this amazing velodrome. They're gonna race. Who's gonna win the race, guys? Who's fighting? I think you have to go this direction, please. Ready? Three, yeah. two, yeah. one. Chomping at the bit, they are. Chomping at the bit. Go. Wow. Wow. Don't crash. Go Valley Valley! Go Taiki! Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be tired. And Bruce has found the bone. Valentino is winning! Good on you, Villa! He won it! But I thought you were going to beat Valley! Not your average three year old being able to do that.
Bruce the other day. No, man, eh? There you go, remember that black dog, don't you? Hey, hey, hey. Pussy! <laughs> here he comes. Here comes the black one, Bruce. Here comes that black one. Here, here he comes, Bruce. Here he comes, Bruce. <laughs> Hi, bear dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Good on you, bear dog. Bear dog. Bear doggy. <laughs> hey, da da. Good boy, hey. It certainly feels good to be on the road again, although we're on the side of the highway. It's nice to be out of the residential zone, surrounded by houses and people checking us out and watching our every move. This is the rest spot, which looks nice. We made it about 60 k's up the road, which is better than stuck in the city still. Good morning from the rest stop. We're just parked up still here. Nothing special at all, but we did see kangaroos this morning, which was beautiful. Just hanging out there they were. I went for a walk with Bruce and I found what I thought was maybe a magic mushroom. But I don't think it is. I'm taking it out, but it looks like, I thought to myself, wow, imagine, if that's a magic mushroom, it's been bitten two times by an animal. Once there and once there, so maybe, Animals um, eat hallucinants. I checked online, it's definitely not magic. Magic mushrooms have got skinny stems, blah, 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 so I'll be throwing it in the rubbish, but it still tripped me out. And it was the only mushroom I could see. Rio's having a period, so she's acting very weird at the moment. I just have to kind of keep to myself. We'll stay here, I will do a workout and Probably do a time lapse of that for fun. And chuck that mushroom in the rubbish bin that can stay in there. Now I'll wash my hands. Um, yeah. Then we're gonna try to find a swimming pool because we wanna have a good swim and a wash. So that's the next destination. Heading north towards Sydney on the Hume Highway, trying to get to a swimming pool. This split system is amazing it's about three degrees outside i reckon i'll leave and check and in here you can see it's 25 degrees the temperature right now where we are is seven all right time for a workout
Okay, so we just arrived in Campbelltown. We're right in the thick of it now. It's pretty much city, city, city. So luckily we found the spot where we could stick the bus. Kind of at the end of an estate road. So now we're going to go have a tour around, find a swimming pool, have some lunch hopefully, and have a swim, have a good wash. And then we'll jump back on the road and get somewhere else tonight because I don't think we can really stay around here. It's very residential. But we'll have a look with the car. We might spot somewhere where we can stick the bus for the night. But yeah, to get out of here, that's a dead end road up there. So we've got to go up there and who knows what's up there. But we will investigate with the car. All right, we spent $12 on a swim, but the swimming pool is very cold and no one really enjoyed it, but we still had a great shower and that's all that matters shower is power did you have a good shower guys yes yeah, I do. yes do you want to come back to this swimming pool again no no because it was cold but it doesn't matter now we're going to go back to get the bus because the sun is going down and we need to move it because we're stuck in a residential zone and i know what happens when people get home at five o'clock and there's a big bus stuck in the road they go ah look at this in huge thing or two would put a because everyone loves to win. Yeah, we so found a little spot where we can jam it, kind of hidden. We are right in the middle of the city of Campbell Town, and hopefully everything goes okay and we get a reasonable night's sleep. So, catch you. All right, that was a bit spooky. I did, I did a U turn with the bus right up the end there, but I had the trailer on, which meant I had to stick the nose down into the grass there. But you know, the bus has got a big clutch in it, and she did it. I did a UE. I can reverse this trailer quite well. And now I'm thinking, geez, we've got no water at all. And then I realize there's a tap just over there. I'm like, sweet. So I'll unhook the trailer because I don't want to do that U turn again. And I will um, pick up the rubbish that someone's left here, chuck it in our bin so we don't get blamed for that. Where are you going, Valley Valley? Yeah, this is another new house here, near here. And yeah, then I will top up some water. Just put a hundred liters in or so. Okay, you should have shoes on, but anyway, that's okay. Beautiful big gums here. I don't know where I am, what this is, but it's perfect for sleeping tonight. Train line there. You know, over, over past there. All right, so we've packed up the bus. Now we're heading in the strangest way to the destination of Bass Hill because I'm f going to fork out the $85 in Australian dollars, $85 for a GoPro, um, the GoPro, adapter for the microphone so then I can at least stop that stupid noise that I hear every time I move the microphone or move the GoPro. I have to do it. it, has to be done. I'm doing nice videos of my family's time. So we're driving to Bass Hill which is about 45 minutes, who knows with traffic it is Friday afternoon and we'll stay there for the evening and hopefully for the night in a place as good as this would be great, but I doubt it. Rhea will follow me in her car because it's very hectic traffic. So we'll cruise on over there and hopefully I can get the adapter working and an external microphone happening so that the sound is a little better and there's not so much editing. Cause I have to edit out every little clicking movement that I do. Ugh. Anyway, thanks GoPro, 85 bucks. There we go, I got it. $85 later, the receipt's just in there, and uh, I've got myself a GoPro mic adapter now, I'll stick a mic on it and I can use the proper selfie stick or something and there won't be that terrible noise when I move it around. So basically we are on the top of the hill in a place called Bass Hill, We're overlooking something, I don't even know but all I do know is Sydney's got mountains everywhere. So we'll stay here for the night, probably for tomorrow and go and visit a few friends around Sydney.